that fun mountain, having the time of our lives. You hear that? That gong sounds every time a kid is having so much fun. We just went on the Gizzard Gulch Swing Swing, and it was a total blast. What should we do now, Callie? Chip, we haven't done one of the things that makes fun mountains so much fun. What's that? We haven't found Kukuli the Cuckoo Bird's tracks. She's the mascot of Fun Mountain. Very hard to find. If you're lucky enough to find her egg prints, you have to follow them very closely. Egg prints? Yeah, Kukulu is a half-hatched cuckoo bird. Uh, let's, let's find her. Okay, let's do it. We just have to keep our eyes peeled for her egg tracks. They'll be hard to find. Not right in front of us. Probably round in shape. Smooth like an egg. It's smooth. Do you see anything? Yeah, but it can't be them. What do you see? Nothing. Just some oval shapes on the ground. Chip! That's them! That's Kukaloo's tracks! Oh, okay. Let's follow. While we look for Kukaloo, let's check out today's Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of John, chapter 1. Jesus was a grown-up now, and it was time for him to begin teaching and healing people. A man named John had been sent by God to tell people about Jesus. John saw Jesus coming one day and said to everyone that Jesus was the Messiah. That meant that he was the one who would save everyone from their sins. John baptized people. You know when we're dirty, we take baths so we can be clean again? When someone is baptized, it's like they're getting a bath for their hearts. The water is how they ask God to make them clean inside. It's like having a new start. Even Jesus was baptized. When Jesus was baptized, a dove came down from heaven and rested on Jesus. The dove was God's spirit, and that showed everyone that Jesus was God's son and the Messiah that John had been talking about. When people around John heard what he was saying about Jesus, they decided to stay close to Jesus. They asked him where he was going and Jesus told them to come and see. This was Jesus' way of inviting them to follow him. Andrew, one of the ones who decided to follow Jesus, went and got his brother Simon Peter. He told him that they had found the Messiah. From that day on, they decided that wherever Jesus went, they would go too. People wanted to follow Jesus because they saw that Jesus was different than anyone else they ever met. And soon, we would learn more about what Jesus would do. And just like Andrew, Simon Peter, and many others, we can follow Jesus. Hands up, hands down. Now turn yourself around. Hands up, hands down. Now turn yourself around. Hands up, hands down. Now turn yourself around. They say you're short, too tall. You try and give your all. And then sometimes you fall. Oh man, that can't make sense at all. God directs us Yes, He loves us We can follow Jesus Because He leads us You're growing bigger And so much stronger God has this message for you You should consider You measure up You measure up You measure up, up You measure up God 
Words, words help us make wise choices. You measure up. You measure up. You measure up. Up. You measure up. You measure up. Those who follow Jesus got the prize of knowing him, and they got to see and learn all he could do. Yeah. That's awesome! Speaking of following, let's follow these egg tracks and find Kugaloo. Okay! Can you hear that, Chip? I sure can. I think that's Kugaloo. Let's go! We found her, but it's just a statue. Wait, what does it say on it? It says, congratulations. You found me. I bet you're wondering what you win for following my tracks and finding me here. Well, following my egg prints showed you the best and fastest way to get to every single ride in Fun Mountain. Just retrace your steps, you'll have the time of your life. Wow, so we won our prize as we followed. <laughs> wow. Yeah, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Gotta go, friends. Thanks for learning and growing with us. Remember, we can follow Jesus 